there. We're down here at Brighton Marina watching um, a boat being wrapped uh, in vinyl by the Wild Group. And we've got the owner here, Grant, who's going to tell us a bit more about why he decided to uh, renew the look of his Sunseeker Martinique 39. Yeah, it's, uh, I saw it in MBY uh, a couple of months ago. You did a little run on the, the Wild Boat Wrap idea. And uh, we've had the boat for eight years now. She's now 18 years old. Um, and we're just looking to improve the look internally, externally, and just sort of modernise her really, because um, she's still a great looking boat, um, in my opinion, as good as some of the boats that still come out of the factory now. Um, so it's just a, an ongoing process of keeping her looking good, and uh, this seems to be a good idea. I like the idea that it doesn't fade. Um, we think there's possibly eight to ten years use out of it um, before it might need renewing, and... Uh, paint will continue to fade so it seems like a, a good option uh, I spoke to the guys at Wild Group they've been excellent um, like the idea and um, yeah just went went with it really you know it's a new product I'm quite keen to try new things so let's hope it works so we're here with uh, Greg and Justin who are applying the first layer of uh, vinyl uh, to Grant's boat and Greg, can you tell us a bit more about what the what are the perfect conditions to um, to wrap a boat? Uh, no, normally, we'd wrap the boat uh, inside a shed, um, but a boat of this size, if it's nice weather like we've got today, it's reasonably cool, um, no wind. We can get away with you know, wrapping the boat um, outside, which saves uh, the owner the hassle of having to find shed space um, and everything everything else that goes with that. And what does the owner have to do before uh, you guys arrive? And what do you do on the day to prepare the boat uh, for wrapping? What, what we're essentially what we're doing is just putting a layer of vinyl onto onto the boat. Um, so, from our point of view, the boat needs to be clean and dry. Um, and we spend a lot of time also cleaning and drying the boat. And if there's any oil on it, we we'll use um, alcohol just to make sure that um, there's no oil left on the boat. But uh, the owner needs to make sure that if there's any uh, dents or uh, scratches or uh, dings in the hull, um, if he doesn't want them to show, then they need to be filled or filled and fed before we um, start applying the vinyl, because they'll show through the vinyl afterwards. And you don't need to take off any of the skin fittings or anything like that. You can just go straight over there and cut out the holes afterwards. We. Uh, de depends on the skin fitting. Certain skin fittings we take off and we have taken off a couple of them further back. Um, bigger, fitting, bigger fittings like the windows we'll just trim around um, because the, the, the amount of effort of taking the window out um, is it's, it's not it's disproportionate to the, for the job we're doing. And is there any, um, this is a 40 foot boat and you Hopefully it can be done in a day, but it might take two. Is there generally, uh, say if it's a 60 foot boat or an 80 foot boat, what are the general rules on uh, length of time it takes to wrap a boat? A, full, a 40 foot boat um, takes somewhere between one and two days, uh, depending on the striping and detailing that goes on afterwards. Um, a 60 foot boat takes up to about three days. Um, we've done a boats which are um, 80 or 90 foot long, uh, can take up to two weeks just depends on the amount of work that we're doing on the boat. On this particular boat, we're just doing a, 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 a colour band on the, on the hull. If we were doing the top section up here as well, then you need to allow more days, more time. So we've been here about half a day and uh, as you'll see from the earlier video the side of the boat is completely transformed uh, but it's not my opinion that matters it's Grant's the owner uh, so any regrets or are you happy with the colours? No regrets um, over the moon with the colours over the moon with the finish and with the guys um, from Wild Group they've been outstanding um, exactly what I wanted uh, brought the boat to life again it's like she's just come out of the factory for the second time um, give it two seasons, you might see the first pink sunseeker on the water. <laughs> no, it's brilliant. And there was a bit of debate about the colour of the sunseeker logo. Are you happy you went with the blue? Yeah, I went with your choice, Stuart. Yeah, I might regret that, but no, I think it looks fabulous. Again, that's lifted the boat, hasn't it? It's just amazing. Fabulous job, well done, well group. Well, from our point of view, I think uh, 
I think it's been uh, really interesting to see just what can be accomplished in half a day. Um, instead of uh, quite a, the complex process of respraying, the vinyl wrapping has been really impressive start to finish. <laughs>